today I'm letting AI build a 5M server for me. No setup, no help, just whatever AI decides. Let's see what happens. You guys probably saw the last video where I let AI build me my own 5M script. I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and I'll see if AI could build me a whole 5M server. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT what framework we're going to use, what scripts we're going to add and how we're going to do it. And hopefully it's going to tell us what we're going to do and we're going to see exactly what ChatGPT has in mind. First things first, we've got to find out what type of 5M server we're even going to make. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT, I'm building a 5M server, what type of 5M server should I make? And let's see what it tells us. Okay, so it turns out it's given us a whole list of type of 5M servers that we can pick from, but instead I'm going to make it pick. We're going to make sure that it's choosing exactly what it wants the whole way. Okay, so I asked it to pick one for me, and for some reason it's probably gone with the one I didn't think it would go with, because it's pretty basic, but a job-based economy server. It's given us a couple of reasons on why it's a good choice. Apparently it's flexible and it appeals to a broad audience. So let's now ask it how we're going to do this. Okay, so I asked it on how we get started and it's given us a whole step-by-step -step guide on how to install a Cubicle server. Although it's doing it in a really, really long way, instead of using TX admin to set up your Cubicle framework, for some reason it's going to try and make us set it all up manually and then one by one add the whole Cubicle framework, which is hella long and I am not going to do that. But I'll just let it know that I'm just using TX admin and it's going to install all the Cubicle mods for us. And then I'm going to get it to pick some mods for us to install and how we actually basically set up the whole 5M server. Let's see how creative this AI can get. First things first, we're obviously going to need to get some server hosting. So I'm going to come to HTNetwork.1, the number one place to get server hosting. I'm going to grab myself the cheapest Gameflex plan. Okay, so I'm on the VPS and let's do what ChatGPT told us to do. Let's set up a basic Cubicle 5M server to begin with. Okay, so I've come to the step in the TX admin setup where we need to pick a server name. It never specifically told us to use TX admin and it never told us a name. But I'm going to let it know we're using TX admin. I'm going to see if it tells us that we need to pick a name. Okay, it just seems like it doesn't know how TX admin works. It sort of knows how it works and it sort of doesn't. For some reason, when I told it, it I'm using TX admin, it completely just ignores the fact that TX admin can set up recipes for you and it still tells me to install the whole Cubicle framework one by one. Super annoying and super weird the fact that it knows and sort of doesn't and it completely skips to going to your key master and things like that before actually installing the framework. It makes no sense. So I tried again. I told it that Cubicore is set up automatically by TX admin and it sort of picks it up. But for some reason, it just seems to think that as soon as you launch a server, it's going to pre-configure the whole Cubicore setup for you. But it, from then, it sort of does give us some steps on where we can go from there. So because it's completely failed, I'm just going to continue, assuming that I know nothing on the setup and it's not telling us a server name. So I'm just going to leave it on what it is by default. So we're just going to hit continue and our server name by AI suggestion is going to be change dash me. Whatever the AI wants, I guess. Access granted. Okay, so I set up the 5M server with Cubicore using TX admin here, and uh, we've done everything that AI sort of said. And I guess from now we can actually follow the steps that AI gave us because up till now it has been pretty useless, but we should be able to follow the steps and see where it takes us. This is going to be uh, pretty interesting. So you guys can see for some reason, the first thing it told us was to navigate to the resources folder, open the QB folder, and we're gonna configure job scripts like QB police job, QB ambulance job, and QB mechanic. And we're gonna adjust salaries, access permissions, and locations within each job file. Apparently this will give us sort of like a better RP economy. This is what AI says, so this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the first thing it wanted us to do is go into the QB police job config.lua and adjust salaries and locations and things like that which is like completely not needed. There's no point changing the locations of the police station to a different location because that is already where the police station is. And also you can't even change salaries in the config.lua of the police job file. That's all done through the Cubicore shared lures. So it's not going to a great start and it wants us to do this the same thing to mechanic and to the ambulance job. Although again, that isn't needed because we don't have any custom maps yet. And again, the salary is not configured in here. So I guess there's literally nothing we can do. We just leave it and we're following the AI and we go on to the next thing it tells us to do. 
So the next thing it tells us to do is to enable the QB job center script. So that's already enabled by default and you can already pick jobs. So we can just move on from that step. But I don't think it has any idea what it's doing. And now it's telling us to go into the QB core resources to find the economy configuration files, for vehicles and salaries. So in one word, it's telling us to edit the salary in the QB police job folder. And the next one is actually telling us to edit it in the right place. So I guess we can now actually go ahead and edit some salaries and we'll try and make it a little bit more realistic here. Okay, so I'm in the shared jobs.lua where we can edit salaries and payment and stuff like that. What I'm gonna do is if it wants us to make it real, I'm going to Google simply what the hourly pay is for police, basic police recruits, etc. I'm gonna apply it to our own RP server. We're doing what the AI says, remember. Okay, so according to Bing, apparently we're using Bing. The average hourly wage for a police officer in the USA is $25.31. So that's what we're going to do. I guess we'll maybe up it a little bit based on the roles. But from the beginning, we're going to go with $25.31. It wants it real, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I went through here and I went from the basic salary of $25.31 for the recruit. And I just went upping it ever so slightly per the couple of roles that we have here, such as officer, sergeant, lieutenant, and chief. I assume that's maybe roughly realistic to the hourly weight. No idea, but based off the average, we'll go with that one. I'm just going to do the same thing now for most of the jobs here. And we'll skip through this because it's going to take a long ass time. Okay, and we're done. I went through the wages and I was Googling, as you guys probably see on the time lapse, the average wage of what the role equates to in the server. And I edited them all and they've all gone way, way lower than what they were before. So I don't even think it's gonna be possible whatsoever to get a car in the server at the minute, but we're just doing what it says. So we'll move on to the next thing that it's telling us to do. The next thing that it's telling us to do for configuring the economy is install or customize the banking system so we can apparently either set up the default QB banking resource and edit transaction limits or fees and things like that to make it more realistic, or we can include and install a custom one. I'm gonna see if we can edit transaction limits and things like that, because it's probably easier than installing a custom one. If we can't, then I'll do what it says and we'll install a custom banking system as well. Okay, so I'm in the config.lua of QB banking, and it turns out we can actually configure some settings like the daily limits, maximum accounts, and things like that. So maybe I'll just make it realistic, like it says, by Googling the average daily limit. Okay, so here we go. The typical debit card ATM withdrawal range is limited from 300 to 1,500 per day. So we'll just go with the maximum here and we'll lower it down from 5,000 to 1,500. And maybe we'll just Google the average amount of accounts that the person has, and we'll just change that as well. Okay, so the average is 5.3. We'll round that down and we'll just do five. So we'll edit the number of bank accounts most people can have from two to five. I guess that makes sense. That's making it realistic here. And we can't really change anything else besides these things, which is basically what the AI told us to do anyway. So I guess we'll just move on to the next step that AI is telling us to do. Okay, so the next thing it's telling us to do is inventory and vehicle shops. So apparently it wants us to edit the item management for QB inventory and for QB vehicle shop and change the prices of these things in the QB folder. So I'm guessing that's pretty much where we just were in the shared folder and editing the item prices and the shop locations. That's what we're gonna do, not really needed. This will take absolutely ages. So I'll just edit a few items so they're a bit more realistic and then we'll move on to the next steps. Okay, so I thought it'd be pretty interesting to actually let AI pick the prices of the items instead of us doing it because that's what I told us to do. So let's see what AI thinks is realistic for the prices of these items. So I'm just going to copy and paste it in and let it edit them. Okay, so AI finally went through the list and finished editing the prices and here you guys go. It's gone through editing the prices to things that are realistic. I mean, the product prices look pretty good. 15 for a bottle of whiskey and then like a toasty is five bucks. Um, but then the fireworks and things like that, they're pretty insane. And especially for like a lockpick, $150. It's, it's pretty interesting. And then apparently AI thinks that joints are pretty cheap as well. So fair enough. 
And going through here, a security card is 5,000. I mean, this sort of thing is realistic, so we'll, we'll let it go on with it. And apparently all the police stuff is free, which is which is right for cubicle framework, things like that. But I think the mechanic one is definitely insane. A turbo is $10,000, especially considering that even like a police sergeant gets $40 based off realistic prices for like wages. I think this is going to be a pretty insanely difficult server to actually RP on and progress. But hey ho, this is what AI wants. Okay, so after doing all of these item prices and things like that, I think the next thing I want us to do is install QB housing, but we've already done that. That's done by default, so we don't need to worry about that. And also, apparently, according to AI, this is optional. Pretty weird. I don't know why it's added optional in there. But then the next thing is map and quality of life mods. So add extra resources for map bits, HUD enhancements, or custom UI elements to improve the play experience. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that using one of the HD network packages. And I'm also going to give you guys an insight into the new version 3 of our HD network auto install package. Okay, so like AI told us, we're going to be installing some custom mods for our Cubicore server now, apparently to enhance the player experience. So that's what we're going to do, but I'm going to do that using an early access version of one of the new HD network version 3 packages for the Cubicore Platinum Pro. What you guys see right here is an early access version, so there are quite a few things to come that are going to change in the future before we actually release this to all of you wonderful people and customers out there. But I'm just showing you guys this because this is really awesome. I'm going to go install some custom Cubicore mods now into our server like AI told us. So I'm going to go into the Cubicore section here and I'm going to install these scripts right here. You guys can already see what they are. So let's install a custom phone, inventory and character select, menus and Cubicore HUD. And I'm pretty sure that should satisfy what AI wanted us to do. So to do that, I'm literally just going to click these buttons. It's going to take a couple of seconds here and the install will be done. AI did also tell us to install some custom map mods, so that's also what I'm going to do using the HD network applications here. So we'll just go into the map section and we got tons of pages to go through here of some custom map mods to one click or to install. So I'm going to do that as well because AI wanted some custom maps. Okay, so we've installed the mods, we've done every other step that AI has told us to do. And then the next step, which is the final one, is to apparently we can use our TX admin panel to start servers and mods and things like that, which Obviously, we don't need to do right now because we'll just start the server up completely and everything will load in. But it does tell us to set up admin tools like adding ourselves as admin. And then the final steps is to launch our 5M server and test it. So I'm guessing that AI thinks we're good to go. You guys can see here it then says to promote the server, put it on the server list and use TX admin to help manage player traffic and performance as your server grows. So according to AI, we have a strong foundation now to build a job based economy server and apparently this is all you need to do. So let's actually load into the server and see what AI has created. Okay, so loaded into 5M and there you go. You guys can see the 5M server here and you guys can see the absolutely awesome name because AI didn't give us a name or even tell us to pick the name in TX admin and that is Change Me. So I guess we'll connect to our new RP server called Change Me and let's see what it is like. Yep, straight away, we've got the basic cubicle loading screen. That's because AI didn't even give us any instructions to install a custom loading screen. I guess it thinks maybe you don't need a custom one because cubicle has one, or maybe it just didn't think that far into it. Probably the second one. I think it has missed a bunch of steps. Okay, so first of all, we've loaded in here and we've got our character selection that we installed using the cubicle HD network auto install application package from the hdnetwork.one website. Obviously, this is of the suggestion of the AI to install some custom mods. So that's what we did with the help of the cubicle package. So let's create our character and load into this new RP server that we made. And we'll check out some of the changes we did, like maybe the job pay or the shop items. Okay, so we've loaded into the server here. You guys can see we have like a custom HUD there at the bottom left hand corner. And if we go into the map, we have, yeah, we've got no postal map because AI didn't say to install a custom postal map. So that's missing. And we have a bunch of job things in here. We've got the job center that it told us to enable. And we also got a custom phone script from the HD Network Cubicore auto install application. We installed that in literally just one click. It told us to add some custom interface scripts to make it more playable. So that's what we did. And we should, like AI said, have a custom inventory as well that was installed using the HD Network application. So there we go. I guess that's a pretty cool feature. I still think we're missing quite a few things to make this an actually good 5M economy RP server. Like we don't even have a custom loading screen or custom map, but 
The next things it told us to do was to change the items prices. So I guess we'll we'll go have a look at those. Okay, so new update. It turns out where AI gave us the updated code to add into the QB Core shop script to update the prices, it literally did the code wrong. So if we go onto the map here, you guys probably notice you can't even access any shops. There are no shops on the map. If we go into our server console, you guys can see right here, there is a script callback error because of the config changes we made in the shops by the AI, it was wrong. So it's really not a good start. So I would say you probably shouldn't use AI to create your next 5M server.